Here we have another SAT algebra practice question. Check this out. We are given an expression 1 third x squared minus 2, and it says this can be rewritten as 1 third times x minus a times x plus k, where k is a positive constant. And we would like to know what is the value of k. And in fact, you can approach this question um, two different ways. And um, I'm going to show you guys both. The first way is we start with this and then we'll try to end up with that. All right, so this is just the first way. And you guys can let me know which way that you guys like better. Anyway, 1 third x squared minus 2. We see that we have the 1 third all the way in the front. So that means we are going to factor out the 1 third. So put on the 1 third and then originally we have 1 third x squared here, but we took out the 1 third, so we just have x squared. And Originally, we have a minus 2, but we took out the 1 third. This right here might be tricky. What do we get here, though? We will have to ask ourselves, what divided by 3 will give us negative 2? And the answer for that is minus 6. Again, you see, 1 third times negative 6 is negative 2. And the truth is, you can use negative 2 divided by 1 third. Hmm? Negative 2 divided by 1 third which is the same as negative 2 times 3 over 1. And that's how we end up with the minus 6 inside. And now we have a difference of x squared and also 6. It's almost like the difference of two squares. It is if we do the following. Look at the x as x in red and then square. And then look at the 6 as square root of 6 square. Aha! Now that is a difference of two squares, right? So this right here can be factored in. We get 1 third, and then we have x minus square root of 6. And then we multiply that by x, and then we add square root of 6. And as you can see, x minus k, x minus square root of 6. x plus k, x plus square root of 6. The answer is k is being equal to square root of 6. So here we have d. Good. Not done yet, because I promised you we have another way. So, second way. The second way is we're going to start off right here and then we'll try to work backwards. So, we have 1 third x minus k times x plus k. This right here is going to be slightly easier because it's easier to multiply than to factor. Alright, I'm going to keep the 1 third in the front, but we are going to multiply this out. And the truth is, this is just a difference of two square formula, and we will end up with x squared minus k squared. And you can also multiply this out real quick. x times x is x squared, and then x times k is kx. But here, this times that is negative kx, so the middle term is 0. And lastly, negative k times k is negative k squared. And then we will just distribute. This is 1 third x squared and then minus 1 third k squared. Now, let's play a game. It's called mix and match. Here we have minus 2, 2 right here. Here we have minus 1 third k squared. So the 2 has to be that. That has to be 2. So we know that 1 third k squared has to be equal to 2. And then we can just multiply the 3 on both sides so that they cancel, and then we get k squared equals 6. And then in the end, we can just take the square root on both sides. And technically, we should have a plus or minus, but it says k is a positive constant, so it's just a square root of 6, positive. Same answer, of course. So let me know which way you, get, you like better, and then check out my playlist for more videos just like this.